So hi there everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this incredibly easy little hanging candy cane. Now you can use these as tree decorations, you can add ribbons and bells, um, you could use these as gift tags, you could make them super chunky. This one here I've made in chunky wool and a five millimeter hook. Um, and this one can just be used as a general sort of Christmas decoration. So I've made mine up using the traditional red and white colors, but obviously you could use whatever colors you like. So grab some yarn, grab a hook and let's get going. So for this example, I'm going to be showing you using this double knit weight yarn. I use Starcraft Special DK. Now this is a weight three, but you can obviously use whatever weight yarn that you want. Um, I'm going to be using a four millimeter. This is my Clover Amore hook. These are my favorite hooks to use. Now I'm going to be adding wire to my candy cane. You don't have to, this is optional. And um, this is just some thin jewellery wire. It is a little bit too thin, really, for what I want it for. So I'm going to double mine up. You could also embellish with some ribbons or, as I said before, little bells. You're going to need a darning needle and a small pair of scissors. So the candy canes are made up of two identical curly cords. Now these are very, very easy to make. I'm going to be showing you how to make this red one here and then what you would do is just go ahead and make your white one in exactly the same way. So let's start by putting a slip knot on our hook. So you can do this however you normally do, but this is how I do mine. So I wrap around those two fingers, pull the yarn across, then I go under, grab that yarn, take my fingers out, and there we are. And what I want you to do is just do a chain of 40. Three, four, 38, 39 and 40. So we are going to be working just one row now along this chain. Now we want to start in the third chain from our hook. So one, two, three, this one here. We are going to put in this chain, we're going to start with a UK treble. So UK treble is yarn over first, push through, grab that yarn, pull it through so you have three on your hook, grab the yarn, pull through two, grab the yarn, pull through two. So that is our UK treble. If you use US terminology, that is your US double. Okay, and in this the same chain again, we're going to put another two trebles. So remember to yarn over first, push through, grab the yarn, pull through two, pull through two. One more in that same chain, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, sorry, my yarn's getting hooked up as it always does. Now, going in the next chain, we're going to do three trebles. So that's one, two, and three. So this is what we're going to do all the way along this chain here. In each of these chains, we're going to be putting three trebles. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do a few stitches with you and then after a while, you're going to see how this starts to curl. Well, it's curling already. I'll do a few more with you. So each chain has three trebles. One, 
two and three. Now just the fact that you're putting too many stitches in each chain is going to make this curl up. So I'm going to do another one. One, two and three. Okay, so you can see that's curling up nicely. So all of the rest of these chains along here, I want you to put three trebles in each chain. So I have gone all the way along that chain, putting three stitches in each chain. Now you'll end up with something that looks a little bit messy, but if you just start from one end and then you start to properly wrap it around, you will end up with a nice little coil. So you might have to help it on its way a little bit, but once it's in that position, it should stay like that quite easily. So as I say, you need to do two of these. I've already made my white one. I'm not going to um, sew in my ends just yet. I'm gonna put the wire in first. But what we need to do now is to join these two together. So I start both at the same end. So I know it's the same end because this is where I've got my ends. And what I do is I place one colour on top of the other. It doesn't matter which one. And then you will need to unravel as you go. And then I twist and then I unravel a little bit as I go. What you want is to keep one colour, the same colour, on top each time. And then as I've done that, I tend to give this end a little bit of a twist. So I'm just placing my red on top of my white. This takes a little bit of fiddling and then you'll end up with this effect here. Now you can mess about with it when we get to the other end. So I'm unravelling a little bit, you can see as I go, making sure my red is on top of the white and then I'm twisting once it's gone through. So unravel a little bit and just keep going all of the way around. I started with my red on top of my white. So that is what I'm going to keep doing. Okay, red on top of white. Unravel that red and just keep going. So mine has come out that the red is a little bit too short. So what I do is go back to the beginning, make sure I'm holding these two together and then I'm just gonna have a bit of a pull on that red. Okay. So I'm gonna pull that red all the way down. You can do this as many times as you want. Very rarely are they exactly the same length when you get to the end the first time around. So there you go, I've got some more red to coil around. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna pull that red around. Now this just takes a little bit of fiddling, a little bit of play until you've got it more or less the same. Okay, so this is going to look a bit better. I've got more red down. I'm going to keep wrapping around. There we go. So you can sort of have a nice play with yours. So once you're happy with how even that is, what I would do is give it a bit of a shake out. Okay, and there you have your cord. Now, wouldn't this look fabulous if you had this as a garland? So you could make this as long as you wanted to. I just tend to twist mine about a little bit. Now, before I sew in my ends, I'm going to put some wire in. But if you didn't have any wire or you really didn't want to put wire in, 
what you could do is now when you hang your cord and you hang this up it should keep that candy cane shape quite well you could give it a bit of a spray with some starch or some hairspray but I am going to go ahead and just thread my wire through just because I feel it helps it keep its shape. So I have my wire. Now, as I said before, I've doubled mine over just to make it a little bit more sturdy. Now I am going to use my darning needle just because I find it easier to thread it through. So I'm just gonna push that over. So hopefully my needle doesn't come out. Doesn't always happen like that and then literally you're just going to thread that needle up through the center of your curly cane now I'm gonna try it doesn't always work to do this in one hit so I come out at the top it doesn't have to be too exact and then there you go I can pull my wire through Okay, so again, what I'm gonna do is just do a loop. Now, if you had pliers, if you had the, the correct equipment, <laughs> I haven't, what you would do is just use your um, wire pliers to just make a little loop there. Okay, and then I'm gonna stretch this along. And then at the end here, I'm just going to do a, another loop over, um, give it a bit of a twist. Now this should be hidden up in there just in a moment. And then again, if you've got special tools, you can use that, but I've used my scissors. Okay, and then what you can just do is use that wire just to form your shape and then you can give it a nice twist so we can hide the ends of our wire up and then you see your candy cane shape should just hold itself on its own okay so just have a bit of a play you can push this loop back up and then when I sew my ends in I'm just going to use my ends to hide this loop of the wire here as well. So I have already woven in the ends of my white but I'm going to show you how I did that using the red so you do the same on each colour. Now you can see if you pull this out we've got two ends here and this was the end of my red curly so I'm just going to go over and over a couple of times um, by going over and over using these stitches to weave in your ends you're making this bit here just a little bit more bulky but it tends to hold its shape better by doing that so I'm using those stitches at the end just to go over and over one way and then turn around and go back the other way. Okay, so that shouldn't come undone. But what I do then is to um, hide an end in this side here, which is on the inside. Now, normally when we do crochet, we have a right side and a wrong side. And if you just have a look now at your curly cane, the outside is actually what I would call the wrong side of my stitches. So I hope that makes sense. But what I do is I, I hide my end, then down, on the right side of the stitches, which will be inside of your cane. Okay, so then I'm just going to chop off my yarn as close to your work, but don't cut your work. 
OK. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing with this end here. So I've woven in my ends and then I've managed to push the wire slightly back up into your cane and done the same at the bottom here. What seems to happen inevitably is that the wire will get caught and then it'll be stuck in place. OK, but don't worry too much. They shouldn't now come out. And then all we need to do now is attach a hanging cord. Now I tend to just lay mine out once it's in the nice shape that I want and then think right I'm going to hang my cord around about here. Now I have the wire, if you can see the wire here that I'm going to attach my cord to. If you haven't put wires on yours just grab a stitch of either the red or the white. I tend to go with the colour that um, I'm using for my hangy but I'm just going to use my wire and then just go through and then I'm just going to have a loop and then I'm just going to tie it off wherever I feel that I want it. I'm going to have it about that length there. Now I would suggest with everything in life just double knot, okay? <laughs> just to make sure that's not going to come undone. I've done a double knot there. I'm just going to trim my ends. Okay, and there I have my hanging cane. Now you can decorate if you'd like to. What I'm going to do is just put a ribbon on the top of here. So I tend to just tie my knot, loop it through before I put the actual bow on. Just cinch that down. And then you're just going to make a bow. as big or small as you want it to be. When you're happy I just cinch mine down. You could add a bell, you could add some beads. This is the time to add whatever you want. So I have just snipped off the ends of my ribbon. I'm just going to give it a final twist until I'm happy. My ends aren't showing of the wire. Um, so there you go. Let me know how you get on with yours. If you do like this tutorial, then please do give me a big thumbs up down below. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you here next time. Bye bye for now.